Hey guys, it's LBS Honey coming to you live from the middle of the ocean. So you guys probably think I'm crazy for spending over $400 on LBS and toys, but let me tell you there's a long story behind this one. Now don't worry, I'll make it short, but we have to go all the way back to Japan. So as some of you guys know, if you watched my I'm leaving for now video, I was going on holiday to Japan and then on a cruise ship. Now when I arrived in Japan, I originally planned to film the whole thing and kind of do little vlogs and go to a Toys R Us, and I also went to Disneyland and Disney Sea. But unfortunately, as soon as we arrived, everyone I traveled with got sick except me. Meaning filming was super hard because I was trying to take care of everyone who got sick. Now I did do a lot of awesome stuff and I'm really grateful that I was able to do what I did, but I couldn't film any of it. It was just way too hard trying to carry a camera around with me while I'm trying to manage someone who's almost passing out every five seconds because of how sick they felt. Now don't worry guys, everyone is slowly on the mend from this sickness. I never got it and hopefully never will, but everyone else is starting to feel better slowly, so we're doing okay. So yeah, I got to go to Toys R Us while I was in Singapore on our second day ashore, and I did a lot of filming there, so I'll probably upload that in a separate video, or maybe even in this video, I don't know, it depends how long the footage is that I recorded. But either way, I did film some stuff and I will eventually put it up. But you guys in Singapore have so much cool stuff in your Toys R Us. If anyone in my audience, I guess, audience, I don't know, anyone watching my videos is from Singapore, please let me know because your country is freaking awesome and your Toys R Us is awesome. Certain things are a bit expensive, but majority of your items are super cheap compared to Australia. So enough blabbing, let's get on to the items that I bought. Actually, one of the first items is my background right now. I bought some sticker sheets. So in Australia, our Toys R Us don't sell stickers, so this was really interesting. It was buy two, get one for free. So I got these super cute giraffes, which are like all neck and they're so adorable. I also got some puppies. And then lastly, the one I picked for my free one was this little teddy bear called BB, who is so adorable. And they even have a little wedding one down the bottom. So the next two things I got were these two LPS blind bags. These are kind of old now, but we never got them in Australia, so I wanted to get some. Unfortunately, I didn't have any time to cheat and see what was in the bag. As you can see, there's a little hole there where you can kind of see what's inside. But they were at the checkout, so I just kind of had to throw them in the trolley. I didn't have time to look what was inside. So hopefully I get some cool ones in here, and I'll definitely open them up on camera. I am really hoping I get that little guy in the pram. He is so cute. Then next up, I got three of the mini pet two packs, I guess you can call them. I'm not too sure what their actual name is, but they're the mini scale pets and they come in two packs, which I thought was really cool. My favorite is of course the two here in the middle, but this first one is a little horse and a lamb. Then I also got this one, which is a little hedgehog and skunk, and it's such a cute little hedgehog, oh my goodness. And then my favorite one, of course, is this one with the two kitties. So I got this little orange cat and a blue cat, and this one is so cute. It just looks so fluffy. Okay guys, I kind of found a better background. Hopefully this looks a bit better. But the next four items I'm going to show you are really, really awesome. And I was so, so excited to find them. They were kind of expensive, but honestly, I would have paid like $100 each, I swear. Because we don't get larger, uh, I guess, packs of LPS in Australia. So I was so, so, so excited when I saw these next four items. Okay guys, because I'm in a cruise cabin, I have limited space, and I also didn't bring my tripod, so I'm holding this by hand, so hopefully it's not too shaky, and hopefully you guys can see okay. But here is the first two items. I was so, so excited to see these. These are the new 
um, 12 or 11 packs. I'm not too sure how many are inside, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, the new 11 packs. I was so, so, so excited to see these. Oh my goodness, guys. So, my favorite is, of course, this one. She is absolutely gorgeous. Poppy Tabling. And then we have some other pets. I'll just show you quickly because I am going to do a separate video on them. But oh my goodness, the special pet has glitter and I am so excited. Whenever they do special pets that have like glitter or like fuzzy pets or anything like that, I absolutely love it and I want to buy like 10 of them. But this was so expensive. So moving on to the next one. I'm sure everyone has seen this by now. There's a couple videos on the line of these packs actually. And I actually want to recommend All Dolls video on this pack. It was so cool and I love how they compare them. So definitely check that video out. I'll leave it in the description below. But anyway, this is the Cabin Crew and this one is called House Pets. But this one I'm sure everyone was excited about because we have our first G5 or G6 Great Dane. Like, oh my gosh, just look at him. He is gorgeous. And then, of course, we have some other pets. And the special edition one is a sparkly seahorse, which is really cool. So I am so excited to do a video on this. And I was really excited because I have the cruise ship. So now I have the matching crew to go on the cruise ship. And I'm currently on a cruise ship as well in the middle of the ocean. So I'm actually going to be unboxing both these sets while I'm on this cruise ship on holiday. So I guess this one kind of fits the cabin crew for my cruise cabin. Now, of course, I did say four items, and those are only two, so the next one is this one. This is called A Colorful Bunch, and it's a little bit older now because it has the old style of packaging, but again, we never got this in Australia, so I was so, so, so happy to see that they also had this one as well as the two new ones. I am in love with this giraffe. Oh my goodness. He is adorable. Just look at him. And again, we have some mini, teensy, and regular sized pets. And I thought this was a mini pet at first, but it's actually a regular sized pet. It's just kind of small. And then our special one is a fuzzy red panda. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! And again, I will be opening this one up while I'm on holiday as well. I wish they had the play sets. They didn't have any of these kind of newer play sets, I guess. They have a school and this one, which is like, I don't know, like a aqua themed one. They didn't have either of them. They did have these packs and they didn't have any single pets either, which I was kind of shocked by. They had older single pets, but none of the new ones. But either way, I don't mind. I am so happy to have this one. And of course, ugh, the fourth item. Ta-da! This one is the sweet sort and this one I don't know, I think this is my favorite pack out of all of them just because I absolutely, positively love this dog. He is the cutest thing ever. I used to have him on my channel banner. I may still have him on my banner in the future because I am getting one drawn for me. But oh my goodness guys, look at him. <gasps> he is so adorable. Honestly, if I didn't have my cat um, as my mascot, this would be definitely be my mascot, but I'm gonna keep my mascot, but at least I have a backup now. Um, and then we have some more LPS, we have the new Collie Mold, which is pretty interesting, I don't know how I feel about it. And then the special pet, oh my goodness, is this cat. I'm not too sure what breed it is actually, so if you do know, please let me know in the comments. But she is gorgeous, I love her. I hope she's in focus, she looks kind of blurry through my camera but I don't know hopefully she's in focus for you guys so yeah there's the school I was talking about that they didn't have but I love this set so much I am a sucker for cute dogs so I love this one Alrighty, enough of those big LBS sets. Let's move on to some other toys. So, like I said at the beginning, I spent all that money on LBS and toys. So I'm going to show you some of the toys I got and then I'll show you some more LBS after that. So, some of you guys may not know this, but I do watch some My Little Pony. I'm not super into it, but I have been watching it a lot more often and I'm kind of getting obsessed with the series. So, yeah. And I've been wanting to get a pony for a couple months now. I just don't know where to start. There is so many options. And like I said, I am behind, so some of the characters I don't even know yet. 
but they had a deal at the Singapore Toys R Us and it was buy two ponies and get one free so I thought well I might as well start my collection now so I got just the kind of standard pony I guess I am sorry to anyone who collects ponies I am so like uh unknowledgeable I guess is the word or uh I don't know what else to call it, but I don't know a lot about My Little Pony toys or anything like that. I used to have some when I was really young, and this is my kind of first one I've bought since then. But I got Rainbow Dash. She is just kind of the regular pony, I guess. Uh, you know, the, the kind of cheaper one, I guess, would be the word to say. And then I also got Rarity. There she is. I do not like her glasses at all, but she is very gorgeous. I really wanted to get Twilight, but they didn't have her. They had like 50 Apple Jacks. And then I got this guy right here, who is from the My Little Pony movie. I wasn't sure if he would be included in the kind of special of buy two, get one free, because he is different from these ones, but he was, which was really cool. I don't know how I feel about all this illustration on his body, but he's a really cool looking pony and he has this little cutie mark at the back through this little hole which is kind of interesting so yeah I don't know if I'll do a video of me opening these or not but I thought I'd share that with you guys that I got my first ponies yay okay next up I also grabbed some more blind boxes besides the LPS ones I got these which we never got in Australia which are the Shopkins Happy Places Halloween uh, petkins, I guess you would call them. So I got two of them. They were a bit expensive. Like I said, most things were really, really cheap at Singapore Toys R Us, and then some things were super overpriced. So this was kind of expensive. I think it was three or four dollars more than we pay in Australia. But because we don't get Halloween toys in Australia, I thought I'd better pick some up while I'm there. So I got two of them, and I also bought one of these, which is just the regular Shopkins um, Halloween. So there's two Shopkins, and this pumpkin apparently glows in the dark, but it hasn't glowed since I got it. I think I need to put it in the sun more. Okay guys, I will show you these six more items and then I'll show you some more LPS stuff because you're probably getting bored of this by now. But I got six Pokemon because we do not really sell single Pokemon in Australia. And if we do, it's always the same ones. There's no variety. So when I saw these, I was so excited. Honestly, I could have bought way more. But like I said, some things were a bit expensive and these Pokemon were definitely a bit expensive for one Pokemon. But I was really happy with the ones I got. So I got Rock Ruff, who is super adorable and I love him. I also got Mew. Really awesome. I love how it comes with a stand. Thank goodness because I don't know how I would stand him up with that one. I also got Mudkip, who is really cute. He's actually quite big as well. And then I got these ones, which for some reason are in a different packaging. I'm not too sure why, but oh well. So I got Squirtle. I wanted to get Squirtle, Charmander, and Mudkip. But they only had Squirtle, so there he is. I also got Meowth, who I love. Oh my goodness. And then super adorable Pikachu with a little hat. I think this is Ash's hat. I might be wrong, but uh, yeah. He's really cute. So I hope you guys are ready for the next item because it is big. Ta-da! It is the Lilith's Pet Shop Pet Shop. So this is again kind of an older set. It has the Pets in the City logo. So yeah, it doesn't have that new aqua packaging. And I wasn't like too excited about the whole pet shop. It does look really cool from the outside, but the inside looks kind of boring. But the main reason I got this is for the LPS. So the one I really wanted was Nutmeg Dash. And she is a sparkle pet, which is so cool. That's why she has this gold little name tag. And then you get two more mini size pets. So I was super excited to get her. And for those of you wondering, this is what the back of the box looks like. As you can see, the inside is really boring. It's just like an outline almost like there's no detail on the inside i'm not too sure why they did that but this set was actually really cheap it was cheaper than if i can get it it was cheaper than this pack all of these packs all of these 11 packs were more expensive than this one so i found that really weird because this is like a big play set and it was cheaper 
than a pack of pets. I guess because people prefer pets over play sets. But yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling. But that's what the back of the box looks like. So yeah, I'm really excited to get Nutmeg because she is a Cocker Spaniel. And the last LPS item and the main reason I went to Toys R Us in the first place to get this is the Porista Cafe! Ta-da! So this is the main reason I went to Toys R Us because I saw that they had this on their online store. So I was like, oh my goodness, I need to go to Toys R Us and get this because I don't know if I'll ever be able to get it again. And I went there and found everything else. And then I finally found this little guy hiding at the back. So this is the Porista Cafe. I am so excited to get this because it is a little cafe. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. All I can think about is Starbucks when I see this. And oh my goodness, the pet you get with it, Fuzzy Gumbo Paws, is one of the cutest new pets I have ever seen. He is really shiny for some reason, but just look at him. He is round and chubby and adorable. And he comes with a little raccoon friend. Unfortunately, he has a hole in his head, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I think he looks adorable. And thankfully, he doesn't have any holes on his body. And then... This is what the back of the box looks like. As you can see, this is the outside of the cafe at the front. So you get some really cool accessories like little coffee cups, uh, coffee mugs, coffee machine, a little cash register, table and chair, microphone. So you get some really cool accessories with this which are really going to be handy. And this is the inside of the cafe on the box, which is kind of weird. Usually they show the outside, but yeah, anyway. I love this set and I am so so happy I could get it so I have two actually three more items to show you guys so let's get on to them alrighty guys so the first item I'm gonna show you doesn't come with anything for free but it was really cheap for what it is so the first one is the Cervelia family's toy shop which I thought is like honestly so perfect for me because I mean really my room looks like a toy shop right now so there's a little example of what it can look like if you set everything up. And then of course you have the main picture on the front. It comes with over 40 pieces. And there is a look on the outside. So it looks really cool from the outside as well. And this is kind of an overview of everything you get included, which is really awesome. I'm glad that Savalian Family show you everything you get. And then there's some more pictures on the back of what it could look like if you had the Cervalian families. But I am going to be using this solely for my LPS and maybe some anime figures. But mainly for LPS and I think this is so cool. The box is actually quite small but the house or the toy shop I should say is actually really big. It's just not assembled in the box. So that's really cool and I'm super glad I could get this one. And the next one was so cheap and it came with a free item and that is, ta-da, the Cervalia Family's Supermarket. Oh my goodness. I was really, really torn on whether to get this or the cake shop because the cake shop was $10 more than this and it also came with a free item. But I decided to get the supermarket because it came with more items. Over a hundred pieces, like what the heck? So it has a little picture up here of all the food you get, but on the side it actually shows you everything it comes with. Oh my goodness, if I can turn it over. Okay, so there's all the food you get. You also get some furniture and the shop itself. And the front of the shop looks so cool, honestly. So that's what it will look like once it's assembled down here. Sorry about the glare. And then there's some pictures around. Here we go. So here is the outside of the store. Like how cool does that look? Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to set this up. It is going to look so awesome. And like I said, I got a free item with it. So I got a free candy card. And in Australia, this candy card is like $14 or $15. So that is so awesome that I got this for free. And this has over 55 pieces and it is a little cart with all candy in it. So that is really, really awesome and I love this one. This one is huge. It's much bigger than the toy shop. And yeah, I cannot wait to open this up when I get home. Oh, and I almost forgot one more little item, and that is this. It is a Cerulean Family's Girl Santa dress. So they gave this to me for free because I spent over $50 in their store, which was really cool. I think it was over $50 on Cerulean Family items. I'm not too sure. 
but yeah this was a free little gift that the store gave me which I thought was really cool hopefully the hat fits my LPS because I haven't opened it yet but I thought that was really sweet of them because it is coming near Christmas time it's December 3rd the day I'm filming this so yeah by the time I get home it'll be like almost Christmas already so this was really awesome and I can't wait to film Christmas videos when I get home and I'll definitely be using this if it fits so there you have it guys, my over $400 LPS and toy haul. Probably the most I will ever spend on LPS in my life, but trust me when I say it was definitely worth it. I cannot believe I got some of these LPS. To you guys in America, it's probably like super easy to get these big LPS packs, but in Australia, pretty much impossible so i am so so happy and grateful i could get these all of these items were paid for with my own money no one bought them for me so don't think my parents spoiled me or anything i bought them all with my own hard-earned money so yeah guys like i said i'll definitely be doing unboxing videos of all the new stuff i got maybe not all of it but definitely all the lps so i hope you guys look forward to that video or videos i should say anyway I have more stuff to film, so I'm going to end the video here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And that is all guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye guys!